Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's Travels. Now today, I'd just like to quickly talk to you about this fantastic water park that I really love, which is Universal's Volcano Bay in Orlando, Florida. Now whether you're planning your first trip to the park, or if like me, you're making plans to go back, you're obviously going to want to get the most out of your day and enjoy yourself. Which is why I've made this brief video just to share some quick top 10 tips for you to use to plan a great day at Volcano Bay. So please watch and enjoy. Tip one, transportation to Volcano Bay. Now if you're driving, you can park on site, but if you're getting a taxi or an Uber to Volcano Bay, the park doesn't have its own separate drop-off area. Instead, you will have to go to Universal's main transportation hub. You can get dropped off there. Then you take the free shuttle bus to Volcano Bay, which is just a short journey. Tip two. Arrive early for sun loungers. Now Volcano Bay is one of the best water parks in the world and it's such a popular park and it can get very busy at certain times. And the first thing you want to do is to get you and your family some sun loungers and some umbrella shade to camp out for the day. Now most of the crowds will head in and walk straight ahead to get to the sun loungers on the main Waturi beach where you get the best views of the volcano as you're right in front of it. Now these sun lounges will go very quickly depending on the weather and the time of the year. So to get that perfect view, you want to arrive early and try to get there as soon as the park opens and then you'll be guaranteed to get those sun lounges. Tip three, early park admission hours. Again, depending on the weather and the time of the year, Universal offers an exclusive early hours park admission to all Universal Resort hotel guests. So that means if you're staying in any of the Universal Orlando Resort's on-site hotels, you can take advantage of this great offer and you get to enter the park before any members of the public, which is like having the whole park to yourselves and the other hotel guests. And as it's much quieter, you can enjoy getting on the rides and slides without any waiting or any queuing. Also an extra tip, if you want to stay at a Universal Hotel, book a stay at Cabana Bay Beach Resort Hotel as it has its own exclusive side entrance into Volcano Bay. And just remember to bring your hotel room key to show to security. Also Cabana Bay is right next to the park so you can get some great views of the volcano from certain rooms. Tip four, finding more seating. Now if you haven't managed to arrive early at the park to get a sun lounger, don't worry. When we arrived on our first ever day at the park, we arrived a bit late and we went to get a sun lounger on the beach and to our despair, there was no sun loungers left. We couldn't find any free sunbeds or shade to sit under at all. But after walking around the park, amazingly, we found out that there are actually loads of other sun loungers and shade hidden around different areas of the park that people don't realize are there. There are lots of sunbeds around the back of the volcano and the rear of the park. So when you arrive, go straight to the back of the park where you can either head for the rainforest village, you'll find seating areas underneath the Taniwa tube slides, or you can try the Hammerhead Beach next to the Fearless River Rapids. Or you can even try heading over to the river village next to the slow winding Lazy River. We managed to find some great seats right around the back of the volcano at the entrance to the Punga Racer Slides, which is also right next to the Kanuku Boat Bar to get drinks, and also close by to the Krakatau Aqua Coaster, the best ride in the whole park. Tip five, lockers and restrooms. Another thing you want to find when you first arrive is the lockers and the restrooms. Now a lot of people tend to use the lockers located near the main entrance, but these areas can get extremely busy and fill up. But don't worry, just carry on walking through the park and you'll find other locker stations and restrooms in other areas towards the rear of the park, which is great if you want to make use of the previous tip and use the sun lounges at the rear of the park. Tip six, make good use of your Tapu Tapu. When you arrive, you'll be given a Tapu Tapu wristband to use for the day, which can be used for lockers, purchases, and ride time allocations. So once you've got settled and set up camp for the day, you want to start having some fun and get on those best rides. Now if the park's not busy, many of the slides will say ride now and you can jump straight on. 
but when busy, sometimes there will be a virtual queue set up. So what you need to do is to go to the totem screen stations outside the attraction you wish to ride. Tap your Tapu Tapu wristband on the logo and then you will be placed in a virtual queue. Your Tapu Tapu wristband will then tell you when it's time to come back and ride. Meanwhile, you can go off and relax or have fun somewhere else while you wait. And there are also lots of other fun activity spots and hidden gems to test out as well. Tip 7. Handy clothing. Now there are two pieces of extra handy clothing that I thought of that you may want to use at Volcano Bay. As it's a Florida water park, the weather can be really hot and sunny. So running around a huge water park in bare feet all day can be tricky at times, as in some areas the ground can be very hot to walk on. Now they do spray the walkways with water so it doesn't burn your feet, but in other areas it may be quite slippy. So the first handy idea is to wear water shoes or kayak shoes. Now these shoes are very cheap and can be bought in many sports shops and they have good grip underneath. You can wear them around the park in the main Waturi beach pool and the Fearless River but you will have to take them off for the tube slides. You'll be doing a lot of walking around the park so water shoes will be very handy to use. The second handy clothing idea is to wear a water performance t-shirt or quick dry t-shirt and you can buy them at Volcano Bay which make a good souvenir as well or you can just simply bring your own. Now you want to bring a quick dry t-shirt which you can get from any sports store or sports shop. And you want a t-shirt which has a quick drying fabric so it's good for you when you're in and out of the water. And it also gives good protection from a long day in the sun. As we noticed on the key for the Krakatoa aqua coaster, there wasn't much shade so you could easily get sunburnt while waiting in line for it. So a quick dry t-shirt would be good to use. Tip 8. Stay hydrated and sun protected. Now around the park you'll find many water fountains which are free for you to use to have a quick drink or you can even fill up your water bottles from them. So remember to stay hydrated especially on those hot days. Also remember to use plenty of sunscreen or suntan lotion as you're going to be out in the sun for a long time. Tip 9. Go inside the volcano. Now don't forget there is a hidden cave inside a volcano where you can meet Vol who is someone special to the park. I won't tell you too much but it's worth going inside and exploring to have a chat with him and it's a nice place to go if you want to get out the sun and cool off. Tip 10. Listen out for the music. Now every now and again in the park you will hear a loud gong noise and some cool music will be played. Now this is to alert you that in the main pool area the waves will be starting very soon. So when you hear the music, get to the beach and head straight into the pool. So there is my quick top 10 tips for Volcano Bay. I hope you have a great time there and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.